In this video, we're going to talk about Cardano, ADA, and give some price predictions for the future. Disclaimer. Also, if you want to have a lifetime 10% discount on all commission fees on Binance, then click on the link in the description. This night brought us some pretty optimistic news about Cardano. For example, IOHK partners with Ethiopia to store academic records on the Cardano blockchain. Blockchain development company IOHK has announced a groundbreaking new partnership with the Ethiopian Ministry of Education that will see all academic records in the country stored on the Cardano blockchain. Announcing the news today, the company revealed that the project will provide 5 million students with a secure blockchain-based ID and record system. This would make it the largest blockchain deployment in an educational management system in the world to date. We couldn't make you wait until Thursday. We're announcing our partnership with Ethiopia's Ministry of Education to create a blockchain-based national ID and attainment recording system. Rolling out to 5 million students, this is the world's largest blockchain deployment. Hashtag Cardano Africa. Scope of the Partnership According to the announcement, IOHK's Alta Prism ID will be deployed from Genesis to service over 3,500 schools, 750,000 teachers, and 5 million students across the East African country. This ID will serve as a one-stop solution for tamper-proof record-keeping, grade verification, and enhanced monitoring of school performance by the Ministry of Education. Currently, Ethiopia, like many other countries in the subregion, lacks sufficient capacity to enforce regulatory standards for issues like mandatory school attendance. Atala Prism ID proposes to solve these problems in a scalable and inexpensive manner by providing storage and access to grades, attendance, and performance records on a blockchain, which is almost impossible to alter. The Education Ministry hopes that this will solve issues like certificate fraud by providing easy and reliable verification for qualifications. This removes the need for employers to hire expensive third-party verification agencies. The enhanced visibility and insight is also expected to help authorities to identify areas of underachievement more easily, which makes them better placed to offer solutions. In addition, it hopes to extend the partnership to cover Ethiopian universities, potentially creating the world's first blockchain-hosted elementary to tertiary education management system. To this end, Ethiopian authorities are issuing all teachers and students with tablets connected to a dedicated network, giving them full access to their records. Ethiopia's Big Blockchain Bet as part of its ambitious Digital Ethiopia 2025 transformation strategy, which seeks to digitalize education, manufacturing, tourism, and agriculture, Ethiopia is aggressively adopting IOHK's Cardano-based Atala products, an Internet of Things pilot program to track smallholder agriculture supply chains, and a blockchain-based healthcare record storage project are currently in the works, both using Atala technology. Discussions are also underway to integrate a blockchain-based digital transport ticketing system with Addis Ababa's Metro Transportation System. The government has also created a national identity standard that will be integrated with the Atala Prism ID system. According to IOHK's African Operations Director John O'Connor, the success of the Ethiopian partnership could herald a new age of blockchain-based leapfrogging across Africa. In his words, Ethiopia's blockchain-based education transformation is a key milestone on IOHK's mission to provide economic identities and employment, social and financial services for the digitally excluded. After five years of R&D, Cardano is now mature enough to underpin a blockchain solution which can scale to serve an entire national population. This project could light the touch paper for a wave of third-generation blockchain innovation across Africa and the developing world, bringing vital services to those who have previously been cut off from them. Also, Charles Hoskinson says that Cardano's POS consensus protocol is 1.6 million times more efficient than Bitcoin. In a recent interview, the IOHK CEO spoke on the climactic impact of BTC mining and how Cardano is different in its approach. Cardano is 1.6 million times more energy efficient than Bitcoin. Mathematician and former co-founder of Ethereum blockchain Charles Hoskinson said in a Forbes interview that Bitcoin's proof-of-work consensus algorithm is energy-intensive due to its meritocratic mining process. According to Hoskinson, a divergence from this protocol to proof-of-stake consensus protocol where a miner gets elected to create blocks is more efficient. He also contrasted Cardano's energy consumption with Bitcoin's. 
He claims that Cardano is 1.6 million times more efficient in its mining process. Badger DAO and RenVM launch a bridge to bring Bitcoin to Ethereum in one click. Bitcoin's mining has become a source of worry for environmentalists who feel the world's oldest cryptocurrency is adding to the climate situation. In a blog post on Medium, Ripple's chairman and founder Chris Larson spoke on BTC's energy-intensive validation process. According to the Angel Investor, the proof-of-work protocol is a massive drain on power consumption and a growing source of CO2 emissions. He also argued that the only way Bitcoin will retain its dominance as the world's foremost crypto asset is if it shifts to a more environmentally friendly validation protocol. Larson pointed to consensus protocols like proof of stake used by new virtual currencies or the federal consensus used by the XRP ledger as likely substitutes. According to the executive, the POW is outdated. Bitcoin needs to utilize low energy or low carbon alternatives to secure its ledgers. However, U.S. payment processor Square argues differently. According to the tech company, Bitcoin could play a pivotal role in transitioning to a cleaner and more resilient electricity supply. In a white paper titled, Bitcoin is key to an abundant clean energy future, Square said that the research looks to support companies looking to utilize green energy technologies within Bitcoin mining. Cardano is for visionaries. Hoskinson's-led Cardano has been dubbed the Ethereum killer due to its focus on interoperability between blockchains and reductions in gas fees and network congestion. However, the blockchain company has not gone mainstream even though it has received much support from the crypto community. According to Hoskinson, over 10,000 native tokens are currently active on the Cardano network since the launch of its Merry Hard Fork Combinatory in March. He also said that the smart contracts functionality of the Alonzo upgrade would focus on activating governance protocol and has already garnered 20,000 subscribers. This would see the Cardano network rolling out a commercialization tool that would onboard nation states and bring millions of users to the network, Hoskinson added. The Cardano brand is growing rapidly. Yesterday, the University of Zurich announced the inclusion of the peer-reviewed blockchain in its curriculum list for the 2021 academic year. The program called Deep Dive into Blockchain 2021 is taking on Cardano as its blockchain platform for change makers, innovators, and visionaries. Alright, so now let's get closer to the price prediction. Cardano's price has recovered part of the 40% decline, but the combination of the symmetrical triangle's lower trend line and the 2018 high may ambush the advance. A neutral outlook is an optimal approach with ADA until it springs into new highs. Cardano's price seeks continuity, but needs a catalyst. On April 14th, ADA spoofed bullish speculators with a bull trap. A breakout above the triangle's upper trend line was quickly sold, pushing the cryptocurrency back into the pattern. A few days later, it slashed below the lower trend line and went on to decline close to 30% while overwhelming the 10-week simple moving average and finally discovering support at the 100-day SMA. On a daily time frame, as seen in the chart below, it is evident that ADA requires a catalyst to shake loose of the determined resistance at around $1.40. In the meantime, the outlook prescribes some patience for speculators looking to enter a new trade. There is absolutely no reason to go along with these levels. Instead, wait for a daily close above the April high at $1.57. A successful breakout can look forward to a test of the 161.8% Fibonacci extension of the April decline at $2.23 and potentially a meeting with the 261.8% extension at 3.92. Now, if the lack of commitment demonstrated by the low volume supporting the two-day rally pretends the future, market operators should be very wary of a resumption of the decline. There will be some support at the 50-day SMA at $1.21, but they should give more attention to the 100-day SMA at $0.99. Cents. A close below the April low of $0.89 cents opens another kettle of fish that could evolve into a decline to the 38.2 retracement of the 2021 advance. By the way, if you are wondering, where do you buy Cardano? You can follow the links in the description and additionally get extra discounts. But note that I'm not forcing you to invest in this project. It's 100% your personal decision. Don't forget to check out more videos on this channel. Thanks for watching.